Hi, I'm Kevin Kraut. I'm Ogden Kraut's son. Um, Ogden Kraut wrote a lot of books on early Mormonism. Uh, they kind of delve more into fundamentalist type uh, doctrine. But they go into the early religion of Mormonism and describe things and tell things. But what my father did was in the beginning there was a lot of anti-Mormon uh, stuff out on seer stones and all these different things. And so dad decided he would actually compile or write uh, several different books on all different subjects to kind of uh, back up or emphasize what Joseph had said. Um, Dad even called himself a Joseph Smith Mormon. In other words, he, if Joseph Smith said it, this is where he believed it. And um, because we've seen so many things about 1890 in the church, uh, when we kind of capitulated to the government and gave up plural marriage, and then plural marriage went underground. There was a lot of different things that happened in the church. They began to, now they had to comply with the law. They had to comply with uh, whatever they were told. And so a lot of those old doctrines in the old religion began to, to cascade into kind of a, just different doctrines that, that uh, don't comply with the old religion. And so what my purpose is in telling these stories, there's a lot of people who, have called me up and they say, Kevin, tell us a story about Ezra Taft Benson when he was up in the uh, the church building, and you know he said that there are more people in that building that uh, I'm more afraid of than anybody in Washington D.C. And so I tell that story over and over and over, and I got to where I just decided, you know, I'm going to tell the story once, I'm going to put it on YouTube, and then they can come back and and tell from there. And so. Uh, I want people to understand I'm not trying to criticize the church. We understand where the church is in its place, in its time. Brigham Young prophesied that we would, as a people, begin to fall away and become more like the world, and we would become uh, like them, and we, persecution would end. Um, you wouldn't be able to tell a Mormon from a black leg. Uh, that kind of thing. He said. He even said in one place, he even made the statement that he feared lest the leaders of the church would lead the people to hell. I mean, you know, in the last days because, you know, people would just follow him and they wouldn't seek out the truth. And, you know, sometimes prophets or people are up there to test people as well. Brigham, you know, Heber C. Kimball said that. A test, a test, a test is coming to see if we will abide by the old religion, the original things that were there, that were set down by Christ, set down by Joseph Smith, or because of policy changes, or because uh, the world goes a certain way, you know, this is what's going to happen. And so, I'm not an anti-Mormon. I'm probably pro-Mormon as it can get. <laughs> uh, my dad was as pro-Mormon as there is. We just want to go back to the old religion, the old things that were taught in the beginning, and, and with all things, it starts out pure, and as time goes by, it decays, it falls apart, it begins to, you just don't have the old same type of stuff. And so that's what all our purposes is. Number one is for me to tell the stories. These are folklore stories. They are not written down. They're just things that I've heard. Um, you know, there's no real person that was there other than the person who told me these stories. So how can I you know, verify that. Most of these people are dead, you know, and so it's very hard. Um, take it for what it's worth. Uh, eventually we'll find more information that will prove or disprove some of these uh, things. It's basically information and what you do with the information is that I hope that you'll go back and study the old religion and understand it. And I'm not trying to, to hurt anybody's religion or anything, but this is what I believe in the old religion of Mormonism.